Emily is a 30-year-old woman living in Portland, Oregon. To make ends meet, she works at a funky store selling socks. Given her job, you might think Emily has a foot fetish, but Emily is into something else entirely. She likes to be tied up. The big fetishes that I have are for rope. Lots and lots of rope. <laughs> Emily realized years ago that the skill and artistry required for rope bondage appealed to her on a deep level. Beyond enjoying the aesthetic and erotic charge, Emily also finds a release from her own cares, thoughts, and worries. It turns my brain off. I'm just there in the moment. There's not all of the things that go on in my head. It just instantly turns off. Through trial and error, Emily has narrowed down her favorite tools of the trade. This is my favorite kind of rope. It's hemp rope. The fibers are really, really soft and cinches nice on itself, and then it feels really constricting on the body. Emily's fascination with rope started when she was just a little girl. I would play uh, bad guys and good guys, and I always wanted to be the bad guy because the bad guy got tied up. What do you think it is about relinquishing that control that turns you on or excites you. That's the whole thing, just relinquishing control. It's a really unnatural thing to do in your real life. The exciting thing is finding someone that you want to give that control up to and feeling safe. A year ago, Emily relinquished control to someone she thought she could trust, a partner she had played with before. I would go over to his apartment and we would do rope. He actually used that trust that he had built and it was actually a night that we weren't even doing any BDSM play. He took me into his bedroom and he had one of my arms behind my back, which I thought he was going to tie up, but instead he must have taken off his pajama bottoms while he was back there and he just slipped his penis inside of me. We hadn't negotiated any of that, that wasn't okay. Because we had been intimate before, he felt that he could do whatever he wanted with my body, essentially, which is one of the problems that can happen when you don't negotiate extremely, extremely... Uh, meticulously. Meticulously, yeah. You can get yourself into trouble. The experience turned an activity that Emily once loved, giving up control to another person, into something that made her feel fearful and vulnerable. The few times that I tried to give up control to people, it didn't go very well for me. I was just like, this isn't really working. We've got to take off the rope. I'm sorry. Not long after, Emily met someone who helped her feel safe again, a man who is now her boyfriend, Levi. He wanted to take things really slowly and just have fun. So that's what we did from the very first second that we met. We wanted to be as kinky as we wanted to be, but have fun the whole time. So everything we do is silly. From the security of her relationship with Levi, Emily now wants to re-engage in the kind of intense rope play she once found irresistible. So today she's taking a field trip out into the suburban woodlands of Portland, Oregon. And Levi has come along to show moral support. Don't trip. They're here with a close friend of Emily's named Noble. He's not only a fetish photographer, he's also a master of rope. And today, his subject is Emily. So Emily is slowly getting back into the kink world, and she's doing so with a kink photographer that she feels comfortable with. And Levi is here to support her. So they are going to be doing rope play out here in the forest, which would be interesting. So you know the drill. We've done this before. I'm going to put some rope on you and get some photographs. What I want is authentic responses to the rope. You love rope. The rope loves you. Just let it happen. I might do a little work with some pressure points. Okay. Um, you're okay with that? Yeah. Might just light you up a little bit, make mm -hmm. you sink into the rope a little bit faster. Sure. We'll just play it by ear. Okay. You ready to begin? Yes. Please. For Emily, working with Noble is a safe and unthreatening way for her to ease back into serious rope play. What are you thinking when he's behind you, wrapping you with that rope? I'm not thinking anything, which is part of why I like it. I'm just there in the moment. It's very sensual, and it's a nice experience to have the rope running over you. While it's erotic, what happens here today between Emily and Noble has nothing to do with sex. 
it's definitely arousing and I enjoy the energy between Noble and I but it, our relationship is not a, a play relationship so I take the energy that we create and take it home to Levi. Today is a breakthrough for Emily where the trust she has placed in another person has been honored and she's rediscovered a sense of liberation in restraint. I love everything about it. It hurts, but it feels like the work that you've got to do to get to the place where you can have that experience of being so free. 